When it comes to dressing in order to flatter your body proportions, there is one rule. Size does not matter. Proportion does. Let me give you just a very quick example here. If you are someone who is 1 meter 60 and you are standing next to somebody who is 2 meters in height, you will definitely appear short. However, if you are standing next to someone who is 1 meter 20, you will appear relatively tall. Think about it. So it's not really about the sizing, about the numbers, kilograms, centimeters. It is all about the difference that our eyes see. So by just swapping the things uh, around and changing up the proportions, you can really create totally different visual effects on the same body. And even though there is no same body shape, but I find that there are some general principles and general rules that can work magic in creating beautiful flattering proportions for many different body types. And today I want to share with you my top seven principles that I usually apply when working with different uh, women and different body shapes. And also I will illustrate everything by giving you real life examples. So after watching this video, you are well equipped to put the knowledge into action. Let's start. The proportion of thirds is known as a golden ratio proportion and is used in many different art forms architecture because it is by default the most flattering proportion. The proportion of thirds is all about the vertical proportion of our bodies. This rule in fashion translates as outfits figures are the most appealing to the observing eye when they are visually divided into thirds. So if your top and bottom pieces takes up 50-50, this proportion is less flattering in comparison to proportion of thirds. For example, one third for your top half and two thirds for the bottom half. Changing up this proportion not only makes you visually more appealing, but also it helps to elongate your bottom half, which is very flattering if you are top heavy or you are on the shorter side or you have broader shoulders. Probably by now you have heard a lot about the magic of vertical lines and yes, that is true, vertical lines helps to elongate our bodies and also to make us appear more slender and leaner. But you do not necessarily need to wear stripes. Lines are created by the outer lines of our clothing as well. The vertical side paddles divide your midsection to camouflage the side bits, to camouflage the hip area a little bit and it works on so many different body types. So in order to create side vertical panels you might go for a blazer, a vest, a cardigan and leave them just open in order to create that flattering division of your mid section. So this principle is all about the horizontal lines. The rule of thumb is that our eyes travels along with the hemline, meaning that if you want to downplay your midsection, rise of the pants should hit at the slimmest part of your body. If you are opting for a uh, sleeve top, you want the sleeves to end at the slimmest part of your arms. If you want to make your legs look their best, opt for the skirt which hemline hits the most flattering spots of your legs that is usually around the knee area and do not forget that in order to create even better effect you can minimize appearance of your midsection with vertical side panels so in this way we are flattering their proportions without wearing you know baggy clothing pieces I feel that diagonal lines do not receive, undeservedly, do not receive as much attention as vertical lines do. Downward sloping angle is not only flattering for many uh, different body types, but it also creates interest and depth to our look. 
So the visual effect is quite similar what Vertical Line creates. I usually like playing around with different bra blouses, uh, wrap skirts, asymmetric hemlines, asymmetric tops, prints in diagonal lines like chevron, zebra prints, and also high slits, they also create diagonal lines that are usually very flattering, elongating, and helps in balancing off the proportions. Personally, I do not like showing off my cleavage and I believe that clavicle is just such a subtle, sensuous and uh, elegant look on so many different women. I also find an open neckline to be very flattering for the ones who want to balance off their bottom half, for the ones who has broader shoulders and want to minimize the effect of the shoulders, for the ones who has fuller bust and want to minimize the appearance of the bust. It is also a great way to draw the attention away from your body parts and create a focal point around your face which is always great because we want other people to notice us, our personalities, our eyes, rather than our body parts. <laughs> I think that this piece is just phenomenal and it is flattering on so many different body types because fit and flare style is a great option in order to create volume but at the same time to show off the slimmest part of your body in order to create flattering proportions. So go for hourglass blazers, peplum tops, A-line skirts, flared trousers, fit and flare dresses. There are plenty of different silhouettes find the one that is the most flattering and comfortable for you. And when it comes to proportion, I really find that support for our breasts is really, really important, not only in creating beautiful proportions, but also in making our posture more appealing and self-confident and also making us just uh, basically walk taller. Make sure that you are wearing a properly fitted bra that is supporting your breasts and uplifting them. Because if your breasts are hanging, you are not having enough space between your waist and that might create a sloppy, frumpy look. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you learned something new from this video and you put into action the knowledge that I shared with you today. If you have any ideas what you would like to see next, please let me know in the comments down below. Or maybe there are some principles that I haven't covered yet. So let's chat about that. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time very soon. Goodbye.